This is the Real Search widget tutorial. It's a pretty cool widget. It actually performs a search over content located inside all the HTML files in your domain. Um, so there's some things you need to take into account uh, before purchasing this widget. First of all, uh, your server requires PHP to run this widget. Um, the search will not work in Adobe Muse Preview, so you have to upload the site to, to see how it works, okay? So remember, um, your server requires PHP and uh, it won't preview in Adobe Muse, okay? You have to upload it. And now this, this widget is, is actually compatible in, in adaptive layouts, not only responsive. Okay, so the thing is that once you... I want to use my 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 demo to explain how this widget works, okay? Because the thing is that once you once you get this, once you buy it, you actually get three widgets instead of one. Where is it? Here. Okay. So as you see, my demo, I have created five pages. First one's called Home, page one, page two, page three, and Search. I'm going to start with this page, okay? With a search page where all the search results will appear. So... For this search results to appear, I'm going to drag from the three widgets we get, it's this one, search results. This is the most important widget, okay? The other two are optional, but this one is the most important. So this is where this is where you, this widget, you have to place it in the page, it's usually named search, but you can name it however you want. And here's where all the results will appear. All right, so the thing is, I'm gonna open the options and the first thing you have to do is you have to add the PHP file. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to click on scan PHP. That's it. And here you can customize it as you want. If you want this button text to not say search and say find, you can change it. Change the font size, the radius, all the button colors. Okay, I'm going to hide this. Um, the box border, if you want to align the box in the center or left or right, and even if you want to place holder, say type here, you see you can customize it. And if you want to display the image, if you want to display the URL, and the new thing you can do is that Actually, like if you have a whole bunch of pages and you want the search engine to, to skip some pages like the home page, and then you have to, what you have to do is you have to write here the name of the page that you've given here in Adobe Muse and just separate it by commas. So just imagine if you want to separate a home page, so home page is index, and then the contact page is just separated by a comma, all right? So remember, this is like the most important and the other two are completely optional. Okay, so let's go back here. And I'm going to show you the other widget, the other optional widget, okay, is a search box. Um, you can see it in every website that there are search boxes that you can find maybe in near the menu or the home page. So this is the search box. So it's just the only thing that it does is that it makes it easier for the user to make a, a search instead of going to the search page. So if you want to include this in anywhere in any page, what you have to do is here important is you have to type the um, the this is the page file name where you will place search results widgets so as my this widget is in my search page then i have to uh, type search.html all right that's very important just if you want to use it okay remember this is completely optional and you have a whole bunch of styling options here okay so third widget, I want to explain it now because the first thing we're going to do is we're going to preview this. So I'm going to my demo, which is up, uh, which uh, we've already uploaded it, and we're going to watch it here. Okay. So this is the the search box. So I'm going to start with the search box, and I have a few of words here, a few recommendations. So I'm going to type Muse and click on search. So this will redirect me to exactly to the search page and here will all my search results appear. See this image. This is the other widget here. Okay. This is the open graph image description. This is completely optional. So you can place it in as many pages as you want. And this is actually like if you want all the search results to appear with a specific image. And you can actually 
you click it here, okay? You just type the, the copy paste the image URL and if you want to add a description. And you can actually, if you have, for example, here I have five pages and you can use a different image in these different pages, okay? So I'm going to show you another, because here I just got one result, but I'm going to write responsive. Wait, I'm going to get another one with both Adobe, okay? Going back here and I'm going to write Adobe. See? Get like a page one with one image and page three with a different image. So if you have any doubts, please comment this video. Thank you guys for watching.